All right, so here we go. Hot Wheels start light number two with servo. Woohoo! Now I'm going to reset this button here. It should be a momentary button, but this is a switch. <clears throat> so I just go off and on, or on and off real fast. Red for a second and a half. Wait six seconds. Yellow, uh, well the red. And yellow, 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 green, go! And the servo goes. I'm looking at this backwards and upside down. When the green lights go out, servo goes back to zero. I'll try this. Oh, there's a wire. There's a, the reset I just did. It really should be a momentary switch. It, I don't think putting this to ground for longer than a split second is any good for it. But there it goes. So I figured out a Nano that doesn't have that little, uh, what sign is that? Tilde? Like, like a little sine wave that the Uno has. So yeah, really excited. Um, I got this here working. Of course, you can make the light sequence. The, see, on my original, I had uh, a red, three yellows, and a green. Okay. Um, let's hit the reset button. I hope none of the wires got loose. I had red and then yellow, 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 and then green. One one for each side of the racetrack. I got a tree over here and a tree over here. So yeah, I'm really excited. Let me hit this reset button. Now, like I said, the reason why I like this. Where's my breadboard? It can it can snap right into a mini breadboard like this. Bring it up one, and it snaps right in. Then you do all your connections. If not, if if, if you don't have one of these, then what I'm gonna what I would do is I use these wires, peel them all apart. See. And then these plug into the pins like that. And then you just put this in the box and connect whatever you need to on this other end. So hit the reset button. Watch this, watch this. Second and a half, half on quarter off, half on quarter off, half on quarter off after the red. Green, turn, four seconds, off, turn, ha, see, I did it. So, and they told me I couldn't do it. All right, so it's anything like this. I got an old charging plug. I got the USB. That goes into the wall outlet. And then I just cut this and add a length of wire in between as long as I need to reach the nano. Now this plug is not the same, so you need to find one with the same plug as this guy. So old printer cable, anything, plug into it. Or if you don't have one, you only have this, just cut this off. Tin the red wire, tin the black wire. Use the V in and ground and plug it directly into that. And that solves any problems with the batteries because the servo is very particular on its power. If you don't have the correct power, it's just going to tick, 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 tick. 
And I found that out because this board I got with my kit, it's either the board or the wires. I got to hold the wires, if you saw in the other video, for power. If I didn't hold that, the servo would just go tick, 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 tick. So, the way I've got it, I put it with uh, different wires, my old, old wires that I bought separate. And the, the pins are shorter. And it fits really tight. Really tight. These wires that came with the kit suck. It's either the wires or the damn circuit board. But I know the pins are a lot longer on this. <clears throat> so. Alright, so I did it. I'm going to print out this sheet. The program. And a couple programs going up. And then um, I'm going to pack this up fully loaded with a five minute delay or you can use the reset button and ship that out to somebody. Alright, babbled on long enough. Thanks for watching.